starts off at that waterfall, that's so dramatic. You would never be in that canyon without the Via Ferrata. We're in Upper Zilmer Canyon right now. The Caribou Lodge is located in the Canoe Valley, close to Vailmount. Built in 1974, uh, Hans Gmoser was the founder. It was built for heli skiing. Amazing location, tucked underneath all these glaciers. Great view, beautiful valley, no cut blocks, just pure nature. The term uh, Via Ferrata is Iron Highway. It started in World War I to get the soldiers from Austria over to Italy. Since so they had big packs on and rifles, they put wires along the mountain so that they, even though they were in exposed places, they could clip themselves into the wires and always be protected. So in this day and age now what we're doing is take your wildest piece of terrain and made it simulating climbing, going up basically rebar rungs that we put into the wall and cable that goes along so you're always clipped into something. First steps in building the Via Ferrata, first of all is choosing the location. Because you've got to find a spot you want to go back to day after day and find a spot that are just gonna wow people. We chose Zilmer Canyon for many reasons. We've been hiking in here for years, probably 40 years now, and I've always looked into the lower canyon and thought what an amazing place it is. People, when they fly into the waterfall, they have no idea what's above them. So we just started investigating it last year by rappelling down and cutting away the brush to have a look at what we were working with. The glaciers and the water had already ripped off a lot of the loose rocks that were there, so we didn't have to do a lot of cleaning to protect ourselves. We could go straight into the build. We had 10 mountain guides, just uh, salt of the earth, strong working mountain guides in June, where we banged in over a thousand of those rungs that you've seen us climbing on. So we had to do a lot of sort of setting up anchors and whatnot to get us into the right locations to put the rungs in. Then from there, just ingenuity, the, as we opened up the canyon, cut away a lot of alder, it just really opened itself up to greatness. Everywhere we wanted to have a, a place for the helicopter to land or for the nice catching areas for the zip line so we could send people across and have comfortable catches on both sides. Pretty much the canyon just really was, was friendly for us to build. Why should people experience this? It's such a beautiful place. And in this day and age with the computer world and the, and the phones and everybody's looking down, they never look up anymore. Get out, move around, be in an amazing spot. It just brings life to your body. You're moving all the time. And folks that come from different parts of the world, this is just so out of their realm of what is out there. And really the fact that everyone can do something here, whether it's the Via Ferrata or just this hike we're about to do, there's something for everybody. The world is about moving. I feel we, uh, we take people well above their limits. Tonight, listen to the noise in the dining room. People are gonna be electric.